Hey, what up, guys? It's the Spark Master, Tom Sparky Sparkinson. Today, we're talking about VPN speed. Uh, how can you maximize your VPN speed? Now, this video, this video was kind of created because I had a comment from a user saying, "I'm not getting very good speeds to TorGuard VPN. How is this happening? TorGuard VPN is the fastest VPN. Why am I not getting good speeds?" Well, the reason is, is there's a lot of reasons for why you might not be getting good speeds with a specific VPN. Now, of course, not all VPNs are equal. And for me, when I test VPNs, I'm testing on the same computer, the same internet connection, the same location. So my speed tests are usually pretty good. Now, of course, speeds can vary. And there are reasons for this that you might not have considered. First of all, guys, we do want to mention that with a VPN, a large amount of the speed is going to depend on the processing power of your computer. So if you have a really good processor on your computer, if you have a really good specs for your computer, chances are the VPN is not going to affect your speeds that much. My computer is pretty beefy. I got a GTX 1060 i5 processor. Now it's not, you know, current age kind of i7 GTX 2070 or anything like that, but it's a decent computer. So my speeds aren't affected that much when I use VPN because the specs allow the VPN to work pretty well. But if you have a really old computer with a slow processor, you might find that your VPN more negatively affects your speeds in this way. So that is definitely one thing to consider. If you want faster speeds, maybe purchase a better computer or up to specs. If you have a new MacBook or something like that, you're gonna get good speeds. If you have a new laptop, you're gonna get good speeds. If you have a good desktop computer, you're gonna get good speeds. However, if you have an older computer, you might get slower speeds. We do also want to touch on some additional kind of settings, guys, here. So something like TorGuard, which is very customizable, you do have a lot of settings you could kind of configure here. Um, first of all, you can configure various things like the tunnel type. Uh, you know, not every single VPN offers these options here, guys. So private internet access is one of the VPNs that does allow you to kind of customize some similar things like the cipher strength. Not every VPN allows you to do that, um, but with TorGuard, you can actually lower down the cipher or even turn it off entirely. Although I'm not really recommending that if you're using a VPN to you know, provide an amenity, but you can turn down the cipher um, and you could use um, these kind of settings here. So these kind of settings are gonna give you pretty good speeds. Um, you could try those out. Another thing that's gonna impact your speeds is gonna be the location. So what you wanna do is pick a location that is pretty close to where you are situated in the world. So if you're in, um, you know, Thailand, you're gonna wanna pick this server here. If you're in wherever you are, you're gonna wanna pick that server to get the best speeds possible. You can kind of play around with the different servers, test the speeds out if you want to see how that impacts your speeds. Um, but you could of course choose these settings as well to see if they improve your speeds. Now, if you're just kind of not sure about all that and you just want to get like kind of the basic default settings that give you good speeds, I would just recommend sticking with Open Connect TCP protocol and go ahead and pick the server that's closest to your location and click connect. Now, is there anything in the more settings that we can configure to um, help your speeds? Well, not really too much. This is mostly just for uh, application kill. So if you want to terminate specific applications when the VPN disconnects is cool, some scripts, some network stuff here. Uh, but none of this is really going to influence your speeds too much, I don't think, so you don't really have to worry about that. Anyways, guys, there's not really too much more to talk about in this video. Um, VPN speed mainly depends on where you're connecting from, um, the power of your computer, and of course, you know, what kind of settings you could play around with to kind of maximize your connection. There are a couple other things you could try, of course, like restarting your computer, disconnecting the VPN, shutting it off, and turning it on again. You can also try, you know, making sure to use a wired Ethernet connection, but I'm kind of assuming you're doing that already if you really want the best speeds. Um, if you're using a wireless, you might consider getting a better kind of adapter for your computer to connect wirelessly, or maybe even consider purchasing a different kind of modem and router situation to get better speeds. Additionally, you can even upgrade your internet to get better speeds that way. Um, and of course, that will just give you better overall speeds. But anyways, guys, thanks for checking out this video. Let me know if you have any questions about VPN speeds specifically. Now, if you do want the fastest VPN, I would recommend checking the links down in the description down below using my coupon code. And my objective test, I've found a TorGuard VPN is the fastest VPN. And among other websites like PC Mac have also rated it number one in terms of speeds. You're going to have the lowest amount of change in terms of how it affects your speeds. Anyways, guys, I'll see you again very soon. My name is Tom Spark.